Hi Gemini, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I am uh, here to do your 10th to the 16th of February reading and I'm using the Wildwood Tarot, uh, a smaller version and I'm also using the Romance Angel Oracle deck and I'm using the Witch's Oracle then from uh, Wayne Dyer. I'm using the Inspiration deck, the Angel Feather and the Surrender deck and this is the bottom of the deck for the overall energy of the week. Now um, if you, uh, this is your romance card as an extra this week because it's Valentine and if you haven't watched your romance reading yet then go to the playlists and find the romance. Uh, playlist of um, February 2020. There's also Romance 2020 and that's your yearly. So let's get started and first of, all, uh, first of all I have to mention something. Please subscribe to your favorite or to your uh, readers, the channels that you uh, regularly visit um, because uh, there is um, news going around that the search machine or the system of YouTube is deleting accounts from readers channels um, as the system is changing from the old to the new so make sure that you can uh, find your channels and become a member okay and if you don't want to be notified then don't hit the bell but I hope you will become a member of this channel and please join me in the live sessions we have uh, readings there as well uh, super chats they're called and super stickers that's a new feature they're great fun and they're very noticeable if you would like an extended reading then go into the description box and there you can find all the information also as my I promised there would be a website and the website is up and running the address is down in the description box and there are different types of readings so go and have a look and leave a reaction if you like to know let me know what you think of the website it should automatically translate and um, it there is a website gemaakt and uh, die vertaalt of die kan je vertalen door op de knop te klikken in boven in de bar dat vraagt je of je het wilt vertalen of niet oké okay, nou even voor de Nederlandse mensen only for the Dutch people uh, uh, wordt lid want YouTube die is aan zijn systeem aan het veranderen en misschien Voor, uh, heel veel lezers die hebben te horen gekregen dat hun leden van hun kanaal afgegooid is. Dat komt omdat YouTube van het oude systeem naar het nieuwe systeem gaan. Zo so, maak zeker dat je lid bent van je lievelingslezers op YouTube. Zo so, wordt lid. En ik hoop dat je lid wordt van de mijne. Okay, Tweeling, this is for Gemini. Sorry about that, Gemini. First of all, we start off with the card, the Blasted Oak. The oak is being blasted by lightning. Wow. This is representing the tower. So something is happening unexpectedly. Unexpected changes. Okay, my darling. You didn't make, couldn't make a decision or a choice. So the universe and the angels have stepped in and has given you this surprise new beginning. When one, claw do one claw door closes, uh, 20 will open. Perhaps something was not built on a proper foundation. And uh, people do fall away from time to time in our life because we move on. Uh, spiritually, mentally, physically, we might be immigrating or moving from one city to another city. So people do fall away. And perhaps you might have got an unexpected change as you got a new job in another city. Who knows? And for the midweek, we have the two of vessels, the two, uh, two of cups, and it says attraction. Attraction is not awesome. 
So you might be meeting somebody new if you're not partnered up. You might be meeting new friends since old have fallen away. Everything does have his ups and downs and I do have a lot of crystals. This is my Metatron or St. Michael stone, sorry, St. Michael and Metatron stone. And I love that. I've got beautiful crystals. And um, now we're going to midweek. We've got the Great Bear. You've got the Great Bear. That's the Great Bear is the name of a star. That's the North Star. It's the biggest star. But the Big Bear is justice in the tarot deck. So there is a new beginning or a second chance. Perhaps you did have a, um, a flame, like the heart is on fire, passion. Perhaps you had passion and this passion is turning into um, a fully fledged relationship. Um, they went and they came back and um, you've got a second chance or a new beginning. You might be going up to the next level. Um, this also means that you have found your soulmate. The Two of Cups is a lot like the lovers. So you're in your element Gemini. Okay. At the weekend, we have the King of Bows. And that is the Fox. So be careful. Um, this is the first time with this card that I'm getting to here. Be careful because the Fox can be sly. But... It is the two of bows, so that is the king of fire. And here we also have fire, but it is the vessels. So there might be a new love coming in, which is a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries or Leo Gemini. Woohoo, yeah, that's great stuff. New beginnings. This could be with a fire sign. Be careful because you're an air sign and they're fire. So you'll, you'll be busy. You have a lot of energy and you blow air into the fire. It becomes bigger. Okay. So if you want a fully fledged uh, relationship, then know your boundaries. And they must know your boundaries and let you know what their boundaries are. And here again, Gemini, you've got balance. And you've got two sorts of dragons bringing life into balance. So at the weekend, you either are trying to get into balance with this new relationship because the Two of Cups is also emotional balance. Having emotional balance, especially if you're meeting somebody new, happiness, wow, exciting, exciting. So you've got two is prevalent in your reading. So, try, and you've got 20 here, so again, another two. So, be balanced. Two, two, two is a six, so you will be in balance. Surrender to worry, Gemini. I know you are, you can be too much in your head, like Libra uh, signs can, as they stand for wisdom, and that is thinking and knowledge and uh, communication and justice. So make a uh, surrender to worry, make a commitment not to lead an anxiety driven life. When worries arise, breathe then out of your body. Breathe in through the now nose and push your stomach out. So when you breathe out through the mouth, you can push stomach in so it will go with like that and then you can breathe it out do it two to three to, uh, three times and do it in the morning and during the day if you feel stressed do the breathing exercise it will release negative power and energy focus on your power of the hearts open your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always beautiful card Wow. Then we have Mauve Angel Feather, Courage and Faith. Have faith, okay, that you won't get worried and lead a, a worry, worrying life. Have courage to confront and accept. 
and make the changes where you can. The angels are present and call upon you to be courageous, draw on and trust in your deep faith, spiritual beliefs and the angels and the angels to assist you at this time. Well, I think there's a spelling mistake. Spiritual beliefs and ask the angels to assist you at this time. Don't be afraid. The universe is with you and the angels are with you. Have courage. The times might be tough with this tower. Uh, unexpected and you might be trying to get your balance, but you will get your balance. Okay, don't give up hope. Have faith in yourself. Don't worry so much. Have the courage to carry on. You're nearly there because you are imbalanced. You're stronger than you think. Okay. The inspiration card. You On this you can eat the colour. You can wear the colour. You can meditate on the colour. Be an example of inner peace, Gemini. So stop worrying. Surrender that worry and then you can feel the inner peace. Being an example of inner peace is an effective way of expressing your desire to offer inspiration to others. When you are at peace with your life and in a state of tranquility, you actually send out a vibration of energy that impacts all living creatures, including plants, animals, and even babies. So just be the peaceful, joyful Gemini. Then we have the mirror. And with the mirror, when I saw this card, I thought, can you look yourself in the mirror? What do you see when you look at yourself? Do you see somebody that is worried and anxiety driven? Do you see somebody that's courageous and has faith in themselves and is know that they are strong enough? Do they know? Do you know that you are an example or you can be an example to others of inner peace? Just ask those questions. Can you see yourself in the mirror? Now, the, that is the Witch's Oracle card. And I'm going to give you the meaning of this card. Although there is much negativity and superstition associated with mirrors, one thing is for certain, mirrors don't lie. When we gaze into the mirror, what we see is the true reflection of ourselves. Both the good and the bad. We cannot deny that image reflecting back at us. Take a good look at yourself, but look deeper than just the surface. Imagine that is the, sorry, uh, not just the surface image that is reflected. Look deep into your soul. Do you like what you see or are there changes that must be made? Yes, the changes must be made if you are a warrior. You must know that you're courageous and faith, have faith. You're stronger than you think and be an example to others. Well, 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 this is the shortest reading I've got in this week. But we still have a card, Gemini. We've got the Romance card, so let go of control issues. Are you controlling? Then that must change as well, because we have to um, leave others live their own lives and make their own decisions. Remember, in a relationship, to get balance, we have to know that we have our own life, and they have their own life and that we have a life together and that must also be in balance mentally physically 
and loving and respectfully. That means no co in codependence. Okay, allow this situation to unfold naturally if you are controlling the situation. Take a step back and see what happens when you give them the control back to themselves. And have control over your own life as well, Gemini. Okay? I know you like things to be perfect. And I know you, you are a detailed worker. And you like to get everything down to the nitty gritty and get clarity. But sometimes you, it's better to let go. It, it can be painful. But be true to yourself. Look in the mirror. Can you, can you, if you keep on making decisions or ordering people about, they'll never be their self. Then you only have, if it's your partner that you're controlling, then you will only have what you have created. And it will break, the mirror will shatter. So, let go of control issues and be in balance. It's the equilibrium, just like Libra is always trying to find. It is a beautiful, beautiful reading in this way that you can be an example and by being an example and letting go of control issues, people will be faster to follow you and to take your example than when you control them. So, do um, something the way you uh, would like people to... Oh, let me... This way, this is better. Treat others the way you would like to be treated by showing uh, them that the way you treat them then they will boom the penny will drop okay so treat others the way you want to be treated and um, if you uh, want to be on time if you want them to be on time then be on time yourself show that is what i'm meaning show what you want and how you would like to be treated then there will be less worry okay absolutely awesome so there's big changes ahead so there can be a new beautiful new beginning there will be adventure it is very exciting this could be in the relationship as well by um, treating somebody and showing somebody how you would like to be treated that can be a, a big shift in itself because people will start following you in what you do. Okay? You will get the balance back. And you will meet your soulmate if you are not uh, hooked up yet. Awesome. And this could be a Cancer, a Scorpio or a Pisces. Or you might have that fire sign. So, know your boundaries. Okay? And know their boundaries. Let them know what your boundaries are. Beautiful message. Okay, Gem Gems, enjoy your week. Have a beautiful Valentine's Day. Don't try to control Valentine's Day. <laughs> okay, I'm laughing because, you know, Valentine's Day is like a birthday. You want to know, is he going to come or is she going to come? Am I going to get a, a mysterious card? Who is it? Well, it's going to drive you mad not knowing who gave you or sent you the card. And you just have to let go of that control situation because you'll never find out if there's no name on it. They got, could have got somebody else to write the card. And this is going to eat. With this reading, that is going to eat at you. Okay, well, have a great Hey, gems, I forgot something. I forgot to tell you something. And luckily, nowadays, you can edit a film. And I just want to come back on to the angel feather colour. That's the um, um, a sort of mauve purpley colour. And you can, some call it lilac. And that is Archangel Zapkiel. Zapkiel. So if you need to call upon the angel, he will also help you clear that chakra. And the chakra is the fifth eye. The angelic chakra and the fifth eye is just usually on the forehead on the forehead okay 
that is where your fifth eye is and in turkey they have this symbol to ward off evil so <clears throat> if you suffer from headaches you can use amethyst and uh, lavender and that will also help you and you can burn lavender that will help you especially when you meditate so i'm sorry about that i just wanted to add that little bit of information into the video i forgot totally to mention so it's archangel satkil okay i hope you've enjoyed the reading and please share with family and friends and give us the thumbs up and i hope to meet you in the live sessions take care darlings ciao ciao